Hello everyone, good day. By the way, I am Elisa Jodi Guru Balbasa and today we are about to discuss the ninth part of speech. Okay, so let me begin this with a question. So what is a part of speech? In the English language, words can be considered as the smallest elements that have distinctive meanings. Based on their use and functions, words are categorized into several types or what we call as part of speech. So basically, part of speech is a category to which a word is assigned in accordance with its syntactic functions. Now, let's start with noun, with functions as naming words. So, a noun is a name of a person, place, thing, or idea. Examples of nouns are dog, pen, teacher, city, happiness, hope. Okay, now, let's try to look on our given example. The dog was carried by the man. In this sentence, the dog and the man both functions as a noun. Now, let's proceed to the second part of speech, which is pronoun, which functions is to replace a noun. Okay, or a pronoun is used in place of a noun or a noun phrase to avoid repetition. Examples of pronouns are I, you, we, they, he, she, it, or we have the demonstrative pronouns as those, that, this, and this. So, for example, um, in the given sentence, uh, Mary is tired, she wants to sleep. I want her to dance with me. Now the pronoun she, her, I, and me replaces the noun Mary as you can see in the given sentence. Okay, so let's proceed to adjective which is a describing word. An adjective describes, modifies, or gives more information about a noun or a pronoun. So some examples of adjective are... Um, Big, small, tall, or short. Now let's try it in a sentence. The little girl had a pink hat. Now the word lil or the adjective lil modifies the noun girl and so with the adjective pink which describes the color of the hat. See? So another part of speech is verb which is an action word. A verb shows an action or state of being. Um, a verb shows what someone or something is doing. Okay, so for example, play, cook, run, swim, laugh, read, sleep, bark. Now aside from that, we also have be verbs like um, are, is, where and was so let's try to identify it in the sentence the children are playing now the verbs in the sentence are playing an are are is a type of be verb or in the other word a helping verb meaning they add detail to how the action is conveyed in the sentence in order for the verb playing extend its meaning all right, so the fifth part of speech is adverb, which is used to describe a verb. An adverb describes or modifies a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It tells us how, where, when, how often, or to what extent. Um, adv adverb usually ends in ly. Now let's try to look in the given example. Endlessly chatter, swim confidently, write excitedly, read carefully, happily smile, cheerfully chirp. Okay, in the sentence, the cheater runs quickly. Now notice, the underlined world quickly tells us how fast a cheating runs. A cheetah runs, rather. Okay, so next is... Preposition. Preposition shows relationship. It could show relationship to a noun or a pronoun to another word. 
So these prepositions can indicate time, place, or relationship. So example, on, beside, between, in, in front of, behind, other, under, rather, near. So the dog is on, the dog is beside, the dog is above, the dog is between, the dog is in, the dog is in front of, the dog is behind, the dog is under, or the dog is near. Okay, so let's try to identify the preposition in the given sentence. So, I left my keys on the table. As you can see, the preposition on indicates where the keys are and then the table serve as an object of the preposition. Okay, so now let's proceed to the joining word or which joins the word which is what we called as the conjunction. So, the function of the conjunction is that they join two words, ideas, phrases, or clauses together in a sentence and shows how they are connected. Okay, so going to its example, we have um, the and, or, but, because, so, yet, unless, since, if and etc. Or we have the basic term for that as fanboys. Um, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. So for you to remember it easily. Now let's try to look in the example. Okay, so we have, I like dogs, but I do not like cats. Now the word but in the sentence, which was underlined, helps the two ideas like dogs and, the do, and do not like dogs to become connected. Conjunctions serve as a bridge in order for the two phrases to connect. Now, the A part of speech is interjection, wherein it is very common to everybody for everyday use. So, interjection or expressive word or phrase that expresses a strong feeling or emotion. It is a short exclamation. Uh, words like, um, wow, hey, hooray, wait, yippee, oh no, shucks, ouch, yay. So, basically, as you can see, they expresses a sudden strong emotion. So, for example, in the sentence, wow, I passed my English test. Great. So, wow and um, great shows are trying to reveal that there is a strong feeling. Okay, so the last part of speech is a so-called article. Examples like a, uh, an, and the. Then let's try to use it in a sentence. We have the food was eaten. The food was eaten by the dog. Now, articles functions as a modifier or determiner in the sentence. The, ter the determiner nouns. Um, remember that an article is always and should be followed by a noun. The food. The is the determiner and the food is a noun. So, to wrap it up, um, part of speech explains how a word is used in a sentence. So... That would be all, and I hope that you've learned something. So, thank you, and God bless.